everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install mods in Minecraft 1.14.4. We're going to be going over every single step from where to find mods to how to get them installed in Minecraft Forge. We're going to be installing three mods today, Iron Chest, Biomes of Plenty, and Quick Leaf Decay. Going over all of those, showing you working the game after we get them installed. However, I am assuming that you already have Forge installed in Minecraft 1.14.4. You can check out the eye at the top of your screen right now to see exactly how to get Forge set up for 1.14.4. We've helped over a million people install Forge, so that video will help you out, help you get it installed, and then you can come back to this one to see how to install mods in Forge. First and foremost, though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for a great place to play Minecraft Forge mods in 1.14.4, Apex is the perfect place to do it. So you can, again, you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. And then let's just go ahead and jump right on into this. And uh, the first thing we want to do is go here. Again, you want to make sure you have Forge installed. This is actually linked in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Forge, and it's our in-depth tutorial on installing Forge. We have this video tutorial up here, and then the text tutorial. So make sure you get that installed. Then it's time to download some mods. Now, in the description, we do have a link to our top five mods for Minecraft 1.14.4. That is coming out next week. It's ready to go. It's just not out when this video is like, you know, being recorded and everything. So guess what? It's not out just yet, but it's in the description of this video. So go to there and click that and we'll give you our list of the five best mods of 114.4. However, we're going to be installing these three up here on the top bar. And these three are all linked individually in the description down below. You can also find more mods on Curse Forge. So if you want to go to Curse Forge and find more mods, you can do that there. The biggest thing we want to do is make sure that we are downloading the 114 versions of these mods. Now, how do you do that? Well, over here in the sidebar on all of these mod pages, you can scroll down and see Minecraft 1.14 there. So for us, Minecraft 1.14, we want to click on that purple download button there, and it will go ahead and take us off to the download page where it'll begin in a few seconds. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's going to open up something in the server screen, but if you're on Google Chrome like we are, it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. Either way, what you want to do is click the keep file, as long as it starts with the name of your mod and ends in .jar, you're safe to go ahead and keep the file no matter what mod it is. And on Mozilla Firefox, you want to click save file in the center of your screen, again, as long as it is, you know, has the name of your mod in the file name. We're not done downloading yet. We need to download Biomes of Plenty. Again, on the right-hand sidebar over here, we do have Biomes of Plenty, which we can click that download button on. Takes us off where we can click ahead a few seconds and then have the download begin. There we go. We do want to keep that in the bottom left. It begins with Biomes of Plenty, instant.jar, safe to keep. And then last but not least, we can download Quick Leaf Decay, where we want to, on the right-hand sidebar, click this purple download button. And again, it will take us off to the download page where we have to wait a few seconds and then we can finally download the mod. As you can see, downloading, boom, quick leaf decay, ends.jar. We can keep that file. We are good to go. Completely set up. Now we can minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we do have three mods. We have Iron Chest, we have Biomes of Plenty, and we have Quick Leaf Decay. If the mods you download on our new desktop, no worries. They are in your downloads folder. Click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and type in downloads, right like so. Open your downloads folder, and in your downloads folder, you will have the mods you downloaded. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, we need to go ahead and open up our run folder. Now, you might, or not run folder, our, the run application. To do that, again, click the little Windows icon in the top left for me, but bottom left of your screen, except this time we're not going to search for downloads. We're going to search for run, R-U-N. Then you'll have this run application here. As you can see, run, it's an app. Go ahead and click on that run app. And in here, we want to type in this percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign. Percent sign, app data, percent sign, exactly like that. And then click OK. Is then going to open up our roaming folder here where we have a dot Minecraft folder and then we have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? What do I do? Well, first off, make sure you've went through our Forge tutorial because if you've went through our Forge tutorial, you should have a mods folder. But if you don't and you have, you can go ahead and right click, create a new folder and then type in mods exactly like this. Mods all lowercase exactly like that and then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder then just take any mods you downloaded iron chest biomes of plenty just enough items quickly decay whatever mods you want tinker's construct as long as it's compatible with 114 you can drag and drop it into your mods folder here now at this point all we need to do is go ahead and open up the handy minecraft launcher here 
and then make sure our forge profile is selected. We want to select the Forge Profile, and then we can click Play. At this point, it's the perfect time for me to tell you about PlayedOutBreakdownCraft.com. That is our grief-protected survival Minecraft server. We've also got incredible custom Skyblock. We've got two survival servers over there, one with a shop-based economy, and one with a player-based economy that has over 20 quests for you to enjoy. It is absolutely incredible. I love it. It literally is the best Minecraft server out there. We've also got custom Skyblock with over 100 players online every single day in Skyblock, 300 players online every single day on the network. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, once we're here, we can show you these mods are installed in a few ways. First and foremost, we can click on the Mods tab, and in here we can see Biomes of Plenty, that one's installed. Iron Chest, that one's installed. And Quick Leaf Decay, that one's installed. We can also jump into Single Player. Now, normally I could open up these other worlds and the mods would work, but we do have Biomes of Plenty, so we want to make sure that we um, are getting that set up. So I'm thinking Biomes of Plenty is our world type there. So we do need to generate a new Biomes of Plenty world. And then there we go. We can do that. I'll see you after a quick jump cut once the world has generated. All right, here we are in game. We're generating some stuff on up here. And we are in creative mode so we can fly around. First and foremost, we should check Quick Leaf Decay, right? So let's just go ahead and do all of that. And I don't think there's any denying those leaves were decaying quickly. But we do need to get this second set of... Uh, of wood over here to be able to really confirm it. Boom, and yeah, that's quick leaf decay for sure. Awesome. So that is definitely working. Biomes of Plenty. I think this is a Biomes of Plenty biome, but I'm not positive because we can check here and see if it is a Biomes of Plenty biome. Where, where's the biome at? I forget where to look. Biome Giant Tree Tiger. It might not be a Biomes of Plenty biome, but Biomes of Plenty is definitely installed. We've got other biomes over here. Wow, there's just a lot of biomes going on in this area. I can fly around and find one that's definitely Biomes of Plenty, but until then, we can also check the other mod we installed, which is Iron Chest. And so to check Iron Chest, you can come in here and simply click over, and there it is, Iron Chest. So we can get an Iron Chest, we can get a Diamond's Chest, or we can get my favorite, the Crystal Chest. Come down here, place all of these down, and we'll see that they are, in fact, different sizes. So we can place down Iron Chest, Diamond chest and then crystal chest. And as you can see, crystal chest is huge. Diamond chest just large. And then we have the iron chest, which is pretty, you know, pretty pretty good size for, for just a single chest, right? So over here, ah, here we go. This is a biomes of plenty biome, one hundred percent. Look at that custom custom grass texture through there. Kind of a weird setup there for that. And then for our biome, we can see that this is biomes of plenty brushland. So pretty cool there. And then um, I think this is even a Bob's of Plenty biome, potentially. But yeah, you can see all of this is integrated and set up. And yep, this is a Chaparral biome here in Biomes of Plenty. Really cool mod. Actually, one that I would recommend for 114 is Biomes of Plenty, just because it's fun, right? It's different, it's fun, it's an entertaining mod to have, and it adds so much cool stuff to Minecraft as far as biomes go. We can also see all the Biomes of Plenty, like blocks and trees and everything it adds here in creative mode. So yeah, there y'all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and that's how you can install mods in Minecraft 1.14.4. I can't wait to see you online on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Again, Grief Protected Survival, two incredible survival servers, plus a custom Skyblock server for you and your friends to enjoy. Right there it is, play.breakdowncraft.com. 267 people online on a random Thursday. But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.